James Sabalski. The Oilers are in the driver's seat and can really put the squeeze here tonight with a win. Each step you can take along the way is another nail in the coffin. They want to put one more in tonight. Two teams looking start for a win. And we are set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And now it's grabbed by Puyo Yarby. What a stop with the paddle by Hellebuck. But he came out and challenged a good save. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Winnipeg's moving it into the offensive end. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Wheeler. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's a shot, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade-A chance. Nice pass. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Now a quick pass to Nurse. Huge stop by Hellebuck. Picked up along the wall by Morrissey. Quick pass to Shifley. And now he angles it across to Connor. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Dreisaitl. Excellent stick work on the play. Wrist one in close. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Hellebuck's right on top of that chance. Great A spot. Great A save. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And now it's over to Yamamoto. Puck grabbed by Ehlers. And he moves it up to Stastny. Winnipeg's in now. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Battle along the boards. Good defensive stop at the poke check. And the pass is picked off. Off the crossbar. My goodness, what a shot. For a moment, James, I thought that puck hit the crossbar and went in. But the game remains scoreless as it bounced away. Moves it to Ehlers. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Denies him! Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. The Jets are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, there hasn't been much to choose from in the two teams so far. The game is still scoreless, of course, but here's a power play. You've got a chance to change that in the next couple of minutes. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play, and he gives it over to Yamamoto. From point blank, he scores! His first career playoff goal! He was saying to a couple guys this morning he thought he was going to be able to score soon. Looks like he's right. That's a great pass. Good hands that you elevate the puck over the defender's stick and the shooter catch and release, and it's in the net. Edmonton's on the board first. What now? Attack. Don't sit back. You're not defending the lead with way too much time left. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Driving right to the front. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. Time of the goal. Five minutes. That puck is in the air, and he's got to find it 
and then he keeps his eye right on it as he slams it out of midair, knocks it into the net. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Receives the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Cassian. And now he moves it to Kara. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Winnipeg's got it against the board. Quick feed to Lowry. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Lowry's picking up steam. The Jets are on the attack. Quick shot, and that banks off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Appleton. Strong defensive effort. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. His reflexes on display tonight. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Lowry's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and that goes wide. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Sends a pass over. Taken along the wall by Appleton. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Handles the puck. Stasty's moving it ahead. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Jets have it against the wall. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. The Oilers are getting two minutes for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You're kind of stuck. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. I love playing on the power play. I like the extra time. I like the fact that you're supposed to score. If you can't handle the pressure, they're going to replace you. Big time stop by Koskinen. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. The Jets win the draw. The Oilers will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Coughs up possession of the puck. With possession along the wall. Takes a shot. That's off a stick. Puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Wheeler's exploring options with the puck. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Grabbed along the boards by Connor. An easy glove save made by Koskinen. Great tracking, he finds the puck, he gets the glove up, makes the save on a dangerous chance. Puck possession so critical, another face-off coming up here. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Big win for the shorthanded unit as they clear the puck from the zone. And no one's going to keep it in the zone when it goes off the glass at that speed. in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Centering pass! Right in front! Comes up with the stick save! In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Denies him! Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. Koskinen's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. Off 
the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Line A's getting two for holding. Well, next time he's going to have to find a better way to get in front of the player. He reaches out and grabs him. He'll go to the box. I feel like you could have got away with this back in your day. You could get away with a lot in our day. <laughs> and they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Shuts it down! Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him with the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Cops won it in their own end. And the puck clears the zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here they come on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Ray, I don't understand this here, the big hit and the response now. I'm not sure where it started or how long ago it did, but it's almost every time. Big hit leads to a challenge. he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. Both guys trying to give their team a little bit of a jump here, but the away team's not going to like the way that one turned out. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -four on the ice. If you can get the puck early on a four-on-four, -four, the key is to hold on to it as long as you can. Wear the opponent down. Make yourself develop a really good scoring chance. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps back out onto the ice. Forces the turnover. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. Puck clears the zone. The Jets have it behind the net. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Edmonton's in transition. Chalk that up as a win for the penalty killing unit as the penalty expires. Both teams now back to even strength. Obviously a pretty important time in the game. The PK does a good job. Keeps this game tied. Koskinen's able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a stick save on it. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We are all tied up in this one. Winnipeg's won the draw. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Thompson's picking up momentum through center. Cops got it along the wing. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And they'll dump it in. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. We'll get a look at that last chance. This is a good play, a terrific shot, but he hits the goalpost and gets nothing for it. Here in the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. Taken by Jones. Quick pass to Barry. 
Great pass from off the right side. Appleton's lugging the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Moves it to Dreisaitl. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. They've got numbers. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Dreisaitl's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Chason. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Larson. Moved in front! Denied by the goaltender. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Line. Chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Hellebuck's a little bit fortunate there. He makes a terrific stop, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. And there's the save. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Winnipeg's won the faceoff. Quick feed to Wheeler. Centered out in front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Kara stick handling in his own zone. Slides it on over to Ennis. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance behind the net. Puts it on net, and he makes the save. Manages to hang on. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Puck moved over to Cassian. Here's a chance. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. One minute left. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. And now he moves it quickly to Kopp. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Bears got it in the defensive end. The Jets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. And he feeds it down to Kopp. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Can't connect. There's the horn ending the first period. It went back and forth, and it's a close one here. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Second period now underway. We'll see how much longer this thing stays tied. 
Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts on this one so far? The Oilers look like they're climbing uphill trying to generate something offensively. They really have not been dangerous at all. Winnipeg's on the attack. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here's a short pass to Connor. Couldn't connect on that pass. Nugent Hopkins works the puck in his own zone. Dished on over to Nurse. The Oilers move it in. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Hellebuck. Quick pass to Shifley. Look out, a two-on-one. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Bears got it now deep inside his own end. The Jets get a hold of it. They go on the attack through center. Big play inside the defensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Here they are on the attack. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Puck picked up by Bullia. Winnipeg's looking to break out. And now he angles it across to Ehlers. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over. Tremendous stop by Koskinen. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Hammers it on net, answers the call with a big save. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Into the attacking area from the left side. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. These are fun goals to score. You read that the goaltender's dropping into the butterfly, and you know you're going top shelf. You beat them over the glove, it feels great. Winnipeg's given themselves control of this game now with a one-goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple-goal lead going into period three. Slides the puck ahead to Cassian. The Oilers take it along the wall. Cassian's going to play it against the half wall. Scrum along the boards. Moves it to Cassian. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Trying to get back on the attack now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Roslovic. Puck exits the zone. Picked up along the boards by Chason. Nice poke check. And now he tries to get it across to Roslovic. Along the half wall with the puck. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Stasty's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Into the middle of the neutral zone. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Made the stop on that play. Here comes the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. The Jets once again send out their power play unit. The best power plays are really varied, James. You don't just shoot it low, you don't shoot it high, you move it around. They got a big shot at the point. I think they got to get there once in a while. The Jets have it behind the cage. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. Yamamoto's going off for hooking. I guess at a certain point you got to let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. Winnipeg's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. Hey, they say greed is good. Get one, get two on a five on three power play. Bears got the puck in his own zone and they'll get it out of the defensive end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Jets take it across the line and it's a quick pass to Connor. Here's a chance and that goes wide. 
you kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this has to be on the net. Winnipeg's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Musa quickly over to Ehlers. Turned aside with a glove by Koskinen. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Oh, what a stop! Puck cleared from the defensive end. Looks to make a play over to Stastny. Quick feed to Perot. Let's it fly with the stop. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And manages to clear the zone. The Jets have it against the wall. Perot's got the puck along the wing. Here's a chance. Big time stop there. Here's a chance right out in front. And that clangs off the iron. Winnipeg's not going to stretch out this lead. It'll stay for... Scores! And they take advantage! A really confidently run power play. Right from the way they entered the zone, the way they held onto the puck and moved it, and they found the open man. They tell you it doesn't have to hit the back of the net. It's just got to get over the goal line for it to count. That one does. The goalie had a big chunk of it. Just not enough. Winnipeg's now gone ahead by two here tonight. And you know what? They've been the better team, Ray. I don't think that's up for much debate at all. They've had the majority of shots, the majority of possession, and a comfortable two-goal lead. Maintains possession. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Hellebuck's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Not able to connect. Nurse is taking it from his own end. The Oilers take it along the wing. Right in the slot, and that one's broken up. And now it's over to Appleton. Nice zone entry on the left side. No one home on that play. And he slides it quickly to Yamamoto. The Oilers have it now. Ennis takes it through the middle of the ice. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. Actually, James, it's amazing to me how many times an odd man rush gets screwed up. They deliver this one perfectly, and they put one on the board. Edmonton's jumped right back into this one with a much-needed goal here in the second. They're trying to generate more shots. They just haven't been able to, but they cash in, James. Now they're only down by one. Puck scooped up by DeMello. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Comes up with the stop. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Nothing doing on that. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Through center along the wing. Picked up along the wall by Kopp. Here's a short pass to Forbort. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Gains the zone from the right side. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here he is in front, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Quick pass to Kopp. That pass goes a little sideways. And the puck departs the zone. Taken by McDavid. Larson's got it into offensive territory. Moves it to McDavid and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away with the steal. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Takes the pass. Stones him in front. Costco 
Cannon's right on top of the scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. The Jets continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Winnipeg's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Shot! Too many bodies in the way. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Winnipeg's got the puck. Lays into the body on the play. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Sends it over to Yamamoto. Quick feed to Stastny. They've got the defense outnumbered. Let's it go. He scores! The tip here, Terror! Patrick Lighty! Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it, and it ends up in the net. Winnipeg's extended their lead to a pair. Like the way that they've been playing, they've had the majority of the possession. Now they've been rewarded on the scoreboard, and you've got under half a game left. Cool. Scored by number 29, Patrick Lider. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Feeds it to Chase on. Pokes the puck away. The Jets take possession here in the open ice. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Couldn't complete the play. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Passes over to Kara. The Oilers played along the boards. The Jets have it from their own end. Tries to feed it over to Polia. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Gives them nothing in front. More than half the period has expired. The Jets have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Thompson's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Here's a shot. Stick save and a butte by Hillebuck. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Morrissey, two minutes for hooking. Throws it in. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Here's a chance. And he comes up with it. Hellebuck's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Jets have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Turris has won the faceoff. Quick shot. Denies him with the save. Another stop by the goaltender. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And now he moves it to Pugliarvi. The Oilers look around near the point. Can't find his man. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. Made the stop on the play. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Oilers have it behind the net. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Yamamoto's got it across the line. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Gets a stick on it to make the save. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Centering pass! There's the whistle as the puck skips out of play. Such hard work in the defensive zone when you're rolling around on a cycle trying to stop the other team. So this stoppage comes really at a nice time for them. They can get a breath here, get regrouped. In the final moments of this period, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. 
The Jets win it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Forbort. Tries to get the puck over to Wheeler. Excellent stick work on the play. And he whiffs on it. And they fail to go tape to tape. Gains the zone through the middle. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Denied by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Puck grabbed by Kara. The Jets gain control of it. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's the pass. And that one's stopped. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. One minute left. Sends it quickly to Jones. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Find some space in the corner. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. We got a penalty coming up here. And play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. And the official sending him off to the box for holding for two. Yeah, it's going to cost him a couple of minutes there, James. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's really that difficult to call. No, nope, pretty cut and dry here. Winnipeg's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. Look out! Stick saved by Koskinen. Denies him again. He's getting pepper. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Four seconds. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn ending. Period number two. Boy, no shortage of offense here. Join our fan club and receive a membership card. Discounts on team merchandise and team ringtones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. The officials made his way to center, and this third period is about to go. Edmonton's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Winnipeg's got the puck at center, and a nice puck check inside the neutral zone. Can't hang on after that hit. Rister, great stick save by Koskinen. Dead center, excellent save. Edmonton's got it across the line. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Shifley. And loses possession after a solid hit. Moves into the slot. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck over. Strong defensive effort. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Edmonton's penalty-killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. Well, they're not going to do a much better job than that last penalty kill all night. They've been really efficient killing penalties. Slides the puck to Dreisaitl. Moves it on over to Appleton. Winnipeg's got it into the offensive zone. Oh, what a big time stop by Koskinen. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. The Jets have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Winnipeg's got it, and they're on the attack. Moves it quickly over to DeMello, and he denied that opportunity. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing, but I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. Lots of time left in this period. 4-2 is the score. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Jets go to work on offense. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. And he slides it quickly to Dreisaitl. Slides the puck to Lowry. Slides it across to Appleton. 
Puck picked up by Lowry. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's across the blue line. Quick feed to Yamamoto. And a strong effort on that play. The setters will glide into the dot. The Jets win the draw. Here's a short pass to Bolia. The Jets take it along the wall. Hangs onto the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Now a quick pass to McDavid. Sends the pass over. Wrist shot from the slot, and that's blocked. Played big in the moment there. The Jets take it across the blue line. Jabs the puck away. Quick pass to Neal. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Takes the feed. Pass right on the doorstep. And that's picked off in front. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. They've got numbers. And that pass goes awry. Battling for it along the boards. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by Ennis. Puck scooped up by Larson. And now he angles it across to McDavid. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Taken along the wall by Pion. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Taken by Neal. Moves it to Larson. Now over to Ennis. On the attack along the boards. Stays with it. And that one's turned away. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Shifley swinging the puck through center ice. Grabbed along the board by Forbort. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Here's a chance. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Fires it into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got it behind the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Jets have it against the wall. Moves the puck. Solid check to slow him down. The Oilers are on the attack. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Gets the puck over to Dreisaitl. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Manages to hang on. Quick shot. Quick stop by Hellebuck. On the doorstep. Whoa. He scores! And a big one from there! That's a pretty critical goal in the playoffs here. It's his first ever. This drives coaches crazy. Everybody's staring at the player behind the net. He's only dangerous if you turn the net around. The dangerous guy's in front of the net. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that scored. Edmonton's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away. Now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck grabbed by Appleton. From the slot, fires away. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Oilers play it along the boards. Pushes it across to chase on. Puts it to the front of the net. And the puck banks off the glove. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Edmonton's trailing by one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. From center, they get into the attacking area. Winnipeg's got it now. Makes the save. Koskinen's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Jets lead it 4-3. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. 
No room for that one to get through. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Nice pass. And tries to make a diagonal pass to DeMello. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Shot, and that carries off a stick. Made the save on the play. Here comes the official's call. McDavid's called for tripping. He's off to the box. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. You got to go to the penalty box. Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Sometimes it's just your night, and the way that they've performed on the power play, it kind of feels like they're going to get another one. Steps in and takes the puck. Can't get it to go. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Quick feed to Perot. Couldn't make that one happen. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Roslevic. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Right out front, and they can't connect. The Jets have it from the corner. Scores! One thing to score in the regular season. Now you get to where the money's all sitting there. The playoff games are super intense, and he's on the board. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's not going to catch up to this one, James. He's looking behind the net where the puck is. Everybody else forgets about the, what's in front of the net. That's the dangerous player. Winnipeg's widened that lead to two here in this third period. Question is, is it enough? It should be. I mean, you can't kick away a game like this now if you expect to be a good team. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck battle along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Connor. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that one's broken up. And they send it right back to him. And now it's grabbed by Bullia. The turnover! Here they come! The Jets take possession in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Bullia. Couldn't complete the play. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Fantastic save! Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a chance, and makes a save. Receives the pass. Puts it in deep. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Puck picked up by Bullia. Skates across the blue line. Wrist shot from the slot. Big save. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Let's the wrister fly. Denied that one. Koskinen's going to hang on just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Jets holding down a 5-3 lead in what has been a fun one for hockey fans to watch tonight. Here's a shot and makes a save. Here's a shot and another stop. Koskinen's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. The Jets continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Lowry's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. The Jets get a hold of the puck. Fails to find the open man. The Oilers have it from their own end. A chance! Comes up with the stop. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Cop stick handling in his own zone. Now the best defense is to play some offense as well. This is a smart play. With the lead, he dumps it into the corner. Now he can forecheck a little bit, try to kill some clock. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. 
Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Gets in front of it. Puck scooped up by DeMello. Taken by Thompson. Quick pass to Roslovic. The Jets move to the offensive zone. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Good check, frees the puck up. Oh, big time save by Hillebuck. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Coughs it up on the play. Strong defensive effort. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Smart defensive play there. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't catch up to the pass. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Sends it over to Chase on. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Right up front with the stop. And they can convert to the play. Nice poke check. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. From the point, they take control of it. Takes the feed at the point. McDavid's got it against the boards. Taken along the wall by Morrissey. Puck grabbed by DeMello. Wheeler's got it in the defensive end. Shifley's picking up steam. And now he moves it quickly to Connor. Edmonton's got the puck. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Moves it to Neal. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Doesn't go. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides the pass over to line A. The Jets move it ahead. Fires into the empty net. Can't get it to go. Cross ice pass to Neal. Sends it in on the attack. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Ehlers. They fight for it along the boards. The Oilers have it behind the net. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Along the side here. A chance to end it. It comes up empty. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Pushes it across to Neal. Here's a chance. Big save right at the end. And we are all over with this one. We've got ourselves a series here as we're all evened up at one. A lot of pressure on them. Trailing one game to nothing. Coming into game two, they played really well. They needed this not to fall down to nothing. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.